What's up and welcome to my GoPro Hero 6 Black Edition. So this is just the, uh, I had, before I bought the Hero 6, I was using the Hero 4 to film my videos and I've stuck with GoPro since like probably day ones. I had a regular GoPro when they came out with them. Uh, well actually it was a little bit after they come out with the GoPros. And then I went to the GoPro, I went from that to, I jumped to a Hero 3 Plus because I used the GoPro Hero 1 for a very long time. And I'm pretty sure I have, if I have some footage, I'll put that in here. Then I jumped from a GoPro Hero 1 to GoPro Hero 3 Plus when they came out with it. Cause it the, and I, I really wasn't looking for a camera when I got this camera, but I had started filming a lot of videos. And, and with the my friend across the street, I'll link his channel in the description because I'm talking about him or whatever. But uh, his name is Brandon. He films a really good amount of videos and me, he used a GoPro. So it really interested me in getting one. So I bought one. Bought one. Uh, this was back in 2000. It's 2011. I want to say it was 2011 when I bought it. For sure it is. And I stuck with the Hero 3 until I bought the Hero 4. And I bought the Hero 4 when, uh, a little bit right after they come out with the Hero 4 when I bought it. But anyway, I've stuck with Hero 4 ever since. No, actually, yeah, that's right. They come out with the Hero 4. A guy bought the Hero 4. This is like his story about it. He bought the Hero 4 and he couldn't get to work with the SD card. He bought the SD card off Wish, which is, when Wish had come out, bought a 125 gigabyte SD card and he put it in there and it didn't work. So you know you have to have the special SD cards for the Hero 4 and up. And he bought the wrong one so he couldn't get a wreck. So he sold it to me for like 200 bucks even. And at the time they were like at $300 if you bought it. It came with, you know, a limited amount of stuff, but it still came with stuff. Well, he had already bought a bunch of stuff for it. So I gave him $200 and gave it to me. I went and bought the right SD card, popped it in, and it worked. <laughs> so, so that was pretty cool. <laughs> but ever since then, which was, I think it was in 2000, let's see, I think that was 2014, or uh, 2000, no, it was 2015 or 16. I'm not exactly sure what I bought before. But I know I had it for a very long time because I used it to film every video from then until almost now. I still actually use the Hero 4, but I just use it for time lapse, you know, like video time lapse. This is much easier to do that, just to take it, drag it, drop it, and bam, you get your video time lapse. So I still, I was using it up until I bought this camera, which is the Hero 6. I really love the Hero 6. It's got good sound quality, and the reason I sound like crap right now it's because I'm in my shop and I have no sound deadening in my shop, so it's just echoey and there's not anything going on right now, so like in the shop, so it doesn't like kill the echo in here. But uh, I really love it. It's got a very good mic on it. Uh, the only problem is the external, uh, the external case that it comes in that you can put uh, on or whatever. It's kind of like when you move around, especially like I have this, it's like a, it's like a little selfie stick thing or whatever, but you can extend it out and stuff. But when I have it on this, it's, it's got a little rubber thing on here that you can hold. But when you move around a lot and you're doing this, it will, you can hear it in there because of the case. That's the only issue I find with this. Uh, I recently started filming in 4K, usually, I usually film in 1080, 60, and I never really messed with 4K. So I'm not a camera guy. I didn't know, you know, didn't know anything about. I'm not really, I'm not really educated on cameras, and that's kind of why I stuck with the GoPros because you point and shoot. You don't have to go through all your settings. You don't have to set everything up and stuff like that. And you can kind of choose like the format uh, you want to shoot in. I haven't really learned about the camera settings until recently and I started looking into stuff and that's why I'm shooting in 4K now. Shoot at 4K, it's 4K at 60 frames per second. If I want to do slow-mo stuff, I'll shoot at like 240 frames per second at 4K. And uh, now that 
because I've my computer is uh, it's a pretty pretty nice computer, so it'll handle it and stuff like that. So, but yeah, the only issue with the GoPro that I see is what I said about the case. It's the only thing I have. And I know you can buy other cases, which I will eventually do, but the case that we're talking about is the case that comes with the GoPro when you buy the GoPro Hero 6. And I know the GoPro Hero 8 is out, and I'd really love to get the GoPro Hero 8, but at right now, financially, I would really love just to stick with this one. And so I have been, and uh, it's, the footage is great, as far as I can tell. Uh, it has when you're shooting in 1080, it's in your walking around, you know, it's got the stabilization in this one. It's like, I think it was one of the first cameras to have the stabilization. But anyway, you can correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not totally sure. But anyway, when you're walking around, uh, it doesn't even feel like you're just, like you're even walking because the camera's so steady. Now I shoot 4K at 60 and it doesn't offer the, the stability uh, part in 4K at 60 frames per second. So. That's why you also see when we're out filming, here's a bunch, like, I'm gonna put random videos in. And that's also when you see, like when we're walking around and we're, while I'm filming, you see all those, uh, that motion, you get that motion and, and stuff like that. But yeah, if you do wanna mess with the settings, you can, because shutter speed is, changes automatically in GoPros. And uh, I just recently, like I said, I just recently learned this myself and uh, it will automatically change and the settings are auto, stuff like that. You do want to get into like pro tuning per se, if you want to get in there, because you can turn pro tune on and stuff, if you want to tune it. If you would like to pro tune it to your liking, there is a hundred thousand videos on uh, YouTube that can kind of help you, but for the most part, I think, uh, filming with the, I guess, the stock settings. As you can see, when I film in uh, 4K, the stability ain't there, it's just kind of all over the place, but that's kind of just how I film my videos. Um, uh, we're, I'm not a professional filmer by means, and uh, so yeah. I would 100% recommend the GoPro Hero 6, and I'm sure the others on down the line. So I've, I've seen, I've seen other, I've seen videos on YouTube of other GoPros like the Hero 8 and Hero 7 and stuff like that. And they're very, very, very nice. So, but like I said, I'm not an expert, but I was giving my honest opinion on somebody that doesn't really know anything about cameras. I do know a good bit now because I do a lot of research now. But back before I did all the research and know about cameras, I would definitely go with a GoPro, especially for the videos like this. Now I'm saying if you were vlogging, um, but now the Hero, the Hero 8 is out and it's like made for vlogging, like vloggers and stuff, because it's a little versatile and stuff like that. I would suggest getting a camera and looking into it and stuff and you can use different lenses and stuff like that. But if you're filming stuff that I'm filming, I guess, I would, and you want it, not necessarily a cheap camera, but an affordable camera that will film 4K 60 and 4K at 240 frames. GoPro Hero 6 is a very nice camera to buy, especially for this. And you can, it's got the zoom feature on this one and it's pretty indestructible. I'm not totally sure how indestructible it is, but uh, I do know it is pretty, pretty durable. And uh, cause I put mine on a drone <laughs> I've crashed a thousand times. So it is pretty um, so it is pretty durable. Because it is fell from like it's fell from like almost a hundred feet at one point. I totally just broke this. <laughs> but uh this is just this is not GoPro, this is like a twenty dollar um like you buy that $20 pack off eBay and you get like a bunch of stuff to hook up your GoPro to other stuff. Like you get the little suction cup thing and you get like the headband and the chest piece and all that. Like I bought that and I've gone through so many of these. All, so many of these things. It is insane. But yeah, if you, if you're here because of the review of the GoPro, if you want to, I would ask you to subscribe. But I don't know how many videos I'll 
I don't know how many cameras I'll review in the future. So if you're here for a review, uh, thank you. Please leave a like on the video. <laughs> if you want to subscribe, uh, really helps me out or whatnot, you know, helps me grow my channel. But if you are interested in seeing the videos that I film on my GoPro, every video on this channel is filmed with a this GoPro or my GoPro Hero 4, mostly. So, yeah, every video is filmed with either a GoPro Hero 4 or this GoPro. Now, I will have a new camera in the future, which will probably be more along the lines like the Hero 8, because that's the next one I'm going to get, I believe. But that's, you know, maybe a year or two or so, until I get just get tired of this camera, I guess. Or this camera software is just not up to date. You know? But yeah, if, uh, if you want to check out other videos that I film with the GoPros, uh, like I said, every video is filmed with a GoPro, so just go, if you want to, go check out my other videos and let me know what you think of those. Hopefully, you like those videos and you subscribe and there's more videos to come because I'm going to be doing a lot of videos. If you are subscribed and you're watching this video, thanks for leaving a like if you left a like or a dislike, whatever you did. <laughs> and uh, I will see you guys next video. Peace.